Gilbert Gottlieb. Are you sick and tired of only one flipper working? Here we go. Man, this is hard with one flipper. Did your pinball machine sometimes have intermittent problems and your displays look kind of weird? Then this is the video for you! To perform this procedure, you're gonna need a few tools. Cutters, wire strippers, Molex housing, Molex crimps, header pins, a crimp tool, a screwdriver, and patience. The soldering station, a soldering okay, iron. You can see where the connector has burned up. So you're gonna take your little, you wanna cut as close to the connector as you can because remember, don't shorten those wires too much. You don't wanna have to run jumpers or anything like that. Anyway, so you get your first one, whoops, you cut that first one off there, and again, it's not focused too good. Um, once you strip the wire, you're only going to want to, come on, focus, man. You only want to strip a very small piece of it like that. I'll show you. Now this little thing is going to get crimped onto the end of that wire we just stripped, and I use this tool right here. Uh, I like to kind of get it in there a little bit first. So this one actually closes the front side and the back side. I've got it in there just like this so that it can be effective. When you insert the wire, oh, I can't film this, shoot. You're going to insert the wire into this and then you'll see the front half on the left hand side of your screen. That is where the actual wire goes, and then the right-hand side, uh, that's will wrap around the insulation of the wire. That's why we cut the wire short, just in the front where it crimps around to the conductor, and in the back it crimps onto the uh, insulation. All right, there's the finished product there of that crimp. Perfect textbook right there, clean. Now what you do is you have your, your Molex connector here, right? You're going to take a little plastic pin, stick it in right there so that you can't insert your connectors the wrong way. Then, into the back side, you're going to slide the Molex pin that you just crimped into its housing. Alright, so what you do next is you take your component that was damaged that needed repinned, and you'll desolder the back just like this. Take your old, crusty old pins out and replace them with this. Uh, the black Molex connectors can carry a little bit more amperage so it makes it more dependable for a repair solution. So we're gonna key this out and put her in just like that. Nice. Nice. Okay, it's got these done in about five minutes. Uh, I don't have a secondary camera holder today. So when you slide these uh, crimps in that you did, you slide them into the rear of the connector and when they get in how they should, they have a very satisfying click feel and noise that happens right down in there. Alright, last one. Click. Sweet. Okay, so you always want to go one at a time when you do these to make sure you got it right, but I always, whoops, where is it at? I always try to uh, get the other, the old connector and just verify that it's right before I plug it in, and it is right, as you can see. So now we're gonna plug her in right there, like this, snug. Congratulations, you just repinned your first Molex connector, but dun dun dun, you've got some more to do down here. Well, now you know how to do it. Good luck. Gilbert. This is this guy right here. You gotta have this tool. Um, I'll put a link in the description for you. <clears throat> On your old connector, <clears throat> excuse me, just snip off the wire. Uh, you'll make sure that it is arranged in the proper order, of course. You don't want to mess your circuits up. Then you take your tool like this, 
and you line it up with the hole that you're getting ready to sink. This tool is going to push the wire down inside of this housing right here. So you get your wire straight. You don't have to strip it. You just leave the insulation on and it goes through this hole. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'll try to get you a good view of it. Let me see this real quick here. Alright, let's see. There's this hole right here. And you put the wire through it just like that with one hand. And you'll see that it goes through there. See how it's all the way nice in there? Okay, then what you do when you got your wire nice in there, make sure it's all the way through. On a firm surface down here, you want to get your little small tiny hammer and bang it. has to be all the way flat. There she was. That was that last one. Got it flat. I'll get you a better view of that. So, um, you have to bang it in all the way flat. Just like that. On to the next one. Ah, uh, if you like this video, mark your calendar for three Fridays from now. I'll be at Pinburg in two Fridays. So I won't have time to do the video. Um, it's going to be how to put video mode on an EM pinball machine. You don't want to miss this. So mark your calendar three Fridays from now. Come say hi to me at Pinburg and check out my MySpace page. Just type in Gilbert Gottlieb. Nobody else has named that but me. Till then. May all your jackpots be super. Gilbert Gottlieb. Frame check. But these fans here.